Day after day, we learn about how local groups are making the best of the new normal via virtual experiences. And for some of them, the experiences are even better than before the pandemic. I guess that's the quintessential definition of a silver lining. Case in point, the Lewis Library. Jennifer Noonan is the children's librarian at the Lewis Library, and uh, she joins us via Zoom today. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. I miss you in the studio, but uh, we can make it work. You. It's great to see you as well. <laughs> All right, so let's get right to it. You guys still doing a curbside pickup? We are. We've been doing curbside service since June, and that continues. Um, if you'd like to make an appointment for us to drop something into your car, we can do that. Or you can just walk straight up to the lobby um, with a mask on anytime, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 10 until 1, or Tuesday, Thursday from 2 into 5, and pick up your books that have been on hold. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so let's talk about some of the virtual programs you offer. The, the list is extensive. Yeah, we have done more than 400 programs virtually since the shutdown. So programming continues at the Lewis Library for sure. Um, we have had a lot of big name authors and we are continuing to do um, author events through Browse About Books. We have a wonderful partnership with them. Um, you can join the program and meet the author, listen to them talk about their book and their writing process, maybe ask some questions and have the opportunity to purchase that book through Browse About and have it either signed by the author or have a book plate that's signed by the author included with that. They'll send it straight to your home if you don't want to come pick it up. That is amazing. Now, when you say big name authors, you're not kidding. I think everyone will recognize the name John Grisham. That's true. We had John Grisham here last week, and he was actually interviewed by Ellen Hildebrand, who is also another very popular here uh, author here at this library. Um, he came and talked about his new book, A Time for Mercy, which is the third book with Jack Brigantz as its main character. And it, it was a wonderful time. I think everyone really enjoyed it. That is amazing. All right, Christmas next month. Let's talk about some of the popular reads that might make a great gift. That John Grisham book, A Time for Mercy, is at the top of the list. Um, the Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, I think, is going to be really hot for book clubs this year. Um, that's the story of two twin sisters. They grow up and end up leading very different lives as adults, one um, passing for white. If you like family dramas, character-driven stories, um, you know, complex issues, this could be the book for you. And box sets are great for kids, right? Yeah, I think that's a wonderful gift to give um, a, a kid of any age. For for the littlest kids, the babies, I really recommend a board book set that's got Lift the Flaps. Um, there are several of those out there, and um, that's a gift for the parents as well <laughs> because <laughs> it's something that's so easy to tuck into a bag and whip out while you're waiting in line at the grocery or at the doctor's office, and it's something super interactive for them. You can never... Um, start getting kids interested in books too early. That's right. Or picture book um, picture book box sets by Mo Willems with with The Pigeon, um, middle grade, YA novels, like the Maze Runner series. I mean, there's really something for everybody. Oh, OK. So what about the person who has everything? Well, of course, there's always that person in your life, right, that's difficult mm. to buy for, um, who has everything. Or maybe you have people on your list that this year you're just not going to be able to get together um, to exchange gifts, either because you can't travel or you just don't feel comfortable about it. Uh, you can always give a gift to the library in that person's honor. The Lewis Library is an independent library, which um, really means that we are not fully supported by tax dollars. Um, I think most people don't know that. We have to raise 50% of our operating budget every year, which is several hundred thousand dollars. I bet. So you can give a gift to the annual campaign um, in somebody's name and uh, they'll get a nice thank you letter in the mail um, acknowledging that and you'll know and they'll know that you're supporting programs that are so important to people, programs and services that are so important to people when the library is in a position to serve at a time like this. All right, Jennifer, I got to ask you one more question. Sure. What are you reading right now? What am I reading right <laughs> now? I am actually reading Brandon Stanton's book, Humans. 
Um, I don't know. It's kind of a coffee table book, um, a, a book of photography and portraiture. Uh, Brandon Stanton is is somebody who um, runs Humans of New York. Since I came from New York, I've always followed that, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. Hmm, sounds like a, a possible gift for someone on our list this Christmas. It would be a great gift. It would be a great gift. Children's Librarian with the Lewis Public Library, Jennifer Noonan. Thank you, as always. It's great to be here. Thank you, Lisa.